This video is sponsored by Enlisted. This is the GTA 6 map in 3D. I've modeled this map around the GTA 6 trailer. The map footprint was based on Dupzor's ever-evolving community map. It's funny because as I was working on this map, changes were made to Dupzor's map that lined up with the changes that I was having to make myself to make things line up on my end. So that shows that we're all headed in the right direction. This is by no means a perfect build of the map. I'm 100% sure that there are scaling issues, perspective issues, and more in my models, but generally speaking, this is what the GTA 6 Vice City map should look like. These field of view issues where they don't line up perfectly are kind of difficult when you're working with a map that's supposed to be really, really big. These trailer shots are being positioned based on a mix of real-world Florida locations, community speculation, and landmarks visible from multiple angles. For instance, the Lowe's Hotel can be spotted in at least four different shots. That helped me align the island a bit, and it helped me feel more sure about placements when differing angles agreed with each other. But this alignment doesn't always happen due to those issues that I mentioned before, but things generally line up in this version of the model. The final version of the real GTA 6 map could change from what we see now as well. In the GTA 5 trailer, you could see parts of the map were entirely unloaded or invisible. and it seems like most of the trailer is showing us the east side of the map, the Miami area. This leaves most of the map unknown, aside from what we know from the leaks in 2022. If you're interested in helping the mapping community, you can join their Discord and offer your own ideas. You can also use my map or adapt on it because I've made it available to download in the description. You can share anything I've made in this video or in the model, around, or in your own videos. The whole point of this project is to make the map as accurate as possible, and to do that, you need collaboration and control Contributors. The file I'm giving away should be able to be downloaded and opened in pretty much any 3D software that I know about. Dupesor in the GTA 6 mapping community created this map by using in-game coordinates found in the leaks, and new information from the trailers. By having the Rage Engine game coordinates, we're able to compare true map size. I've imported the GTA 5 and 4 map here, and scaled them to match the correct scale for a comparison between the maps. As you can see, Vice City is going to be a massively larger map, filled with more varied types of terrain cities, and more. You can seemingly fit both Los Santos and Liberty City in the area of Vice City. And remember, the scaling here is based on actual Rage Engine coordinates. Most of the rest of the map is unmapped because I wasn't certain at this stage where things would be, and I only wanted to do trailer-based modeling rather than leak-based modeling. But the leaks showed another town and racetrack to the west. Also, there may be two different jails. The one seen in the trailer may be located toward the more southern zone of Leonida, near this lake. And I don't know if it's pronounced Leonida or Leonida. What I like about the GTA 6 map is that they seem to have learned from some of the lacking qualities of the Los Santos map. For one, it looks like there'll be other cities, towns, and points of interest all throughout the map, making traversal across the highways worth it. Enlisted is a free, squad-based, first-person shooter on PC and consoles that blends PvP with PvE combat. Take charge of AI soldiers in World War II battles, choosing your side from the US, Germany, Soviet Union, or Japan. Unlock hundreds of weapons, tanks, and aircraft for squad customization. Strategize with fellow leaders and lead your side to victory. For existing Enlisted players, a recent metagame update introduces research trees, equipment-based matchmaking, and gameplay improvements. It's the perfect time to explore or the new era of Enlisted. Enlisted is hardcore where it counts. Rapid infantry kills and realistic vehicles amp up the intensity and fun. Unlock a colossal arsenal of over 400 weapons, tanks, and aircraft. My favorite feature in Enlisted is the advanced damage model for tanks and aircraft. The game doesn't use traditional hit points. Vehicles take real hits to components and crew. Aim matters as you can target the pilot or trigger an explosion depending on where you shoot. Play Enlisted for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. Register using the link in the pinned comment or video description. PC players score an exclusive bonus pack, two weapons, a soldier's helmet, 4,000 silver, and three days of premium account access. It's a limited time offer, so try the game out now before it's gone. In GTA 5's San Andreas, Los Santos was a small city compared to the rest of the map, which was essentially a boring wasteland. Is there anybody in here? No! 
Leaks for GTA 6 reveal that there are plenty of interesting things going out far from the Vice City area. Also, an entire map that looks like a vacant desert isn't much fun to explore, but the Keys, the Swamps, the West Side of Leonida, and more look much more fun to visit to me. Rockstar's version of a Vice City map set in 2023 is extremely exciting to me. There's so much lore to build off of having Florida as your source material. Many real-world locations have been spotted in the trailer, and also from last year's leaks. Buildings and landmarks that are perfectly recreated can be seen everywhere. Rockstar has a history of accurately recreating environments, all while satirizing them in the process. While we don't know much about the mainland area of the map right now, we do know what Florida has. There could potentially be an area like North Yankton or Guarma for GTA 6, but for Cuba or for Haiti. The trailer apparently shows the Haiti flag, but there is a place in Miami called Little Haiti. This could be a reference to that. If there is a Cuba area, there may be a Bermuda Triangle as well, where our planes will shut down while flying. There may be a Disney World parody in the game, toward the middle of Leonida along with another city like Orlando. The leaks showed there being a location known as Fairyland. I remember seeing something called Friends Fun World, but that leak ended up being fake. There could also be a Universal Studios remake, or a Sea World. There could be a Kennedy Space Center in the Northeast Coast. I'm wondering what they'll do to cut off the northern point of the map. Maybe it will still be like an island like all the other GTA maps before it, or maybe it will have a continued yet inaccessible landmass like Red Dead Redemption. This could mean that in the future they could constantly update it and grow the map over time. And with the success of GTA Online, there's no doubt in my mind that they're looking at the big picture here in the long term. In previous GTA games, except for GTA 5, areas of the map were unlocked as you progressed through the campaign. In GTA 4, terrorism had police shutting down the bridges. In San Andreas, the map is blocked due to damage from an earthquake. And if Carl crosses beyond the blockades by going around them, police will chase him down because he was warned by Officer Tenpenny not to leave Los Santos. Now listen, I've got a message from Officer Tenpenny. Don't try and leave town. That would be a big mistake. You hear me? We're watching you. Some fans theorize that in GTA 6, Lucia will have a similar limitation. The official Rockstar art they released shows Lucia wearing an ankle bracelet. This could mean that she won't be able to explore too much of the map in the beginning until her ankle monitor is removed. We've heard that the water system in GTA 6 is supposedly entirely rebuilt, and we've also heard that the weather system may be more advanced. These two directions for the technologies in GTA 6 could mean we'll see hurricanes. Although physical media is dying, I hope the physical copy of GTA 6 comes with a physical unfolding map, like every other GTA has that has come before it. Those maps and city guide pamphlets were the bee's knees. Vice City looks like Rockstar's biggest, most detailed city yet, so I really hope it gets a real physical map. Without the work done by the GTA mapping community, this project and video would have been impossible. You can join the GTA 6 mapping community by making a contribution of significance and sharing it in the Discord link I've linked in the description. You can download my model in the description of this video so you can work on making it more accurate yourself, or maybe you can just use the model for fun. I'm going to see if maybe we can have the mods of the GTA 6 mapping project make this model a good starting point for the community to work together on making the map in 3D as well as 2D. Rockstar Games makes the best video game maps. Their maps are the most exciting aspect of each release. It's not often that we as fans get to experience a new GTA map. In your whole life, you'll probably only be able to count these moments on one hand. We haven't seen a new GTA map in 10 years, so this is a big moment. A project like this one that Dupesaur is heading is fun for us as fans because we get to explore the map before it releases, and it'll be really cool to compare the final map with what we thought it would be, to see how close we were. Thank you for watching this video, and please share the map, the files, screenshots from this video, whatever you want, it's all open to everyone to take and to share.
Again, thank you to Enlisted for sponsoring this video. Dive into the action for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox using the link in the pinned comment or video description. New PC players will receive an exclusive bonus pack with multiple items, in-game currency, and premium account time. You don't want to miss out on the intense PvP action that Enlisted offers.